Uh, digital life is going to be very different in 2040. Of course, um, my crystal ball isn't that clear, uh, so it's hard to tell exactly. But I think if we look to the broader geopolitical landscape, we've gone from a bipolar world to a single superpower to now fracturing into a multipolar world. We're seeing the results of that right now, whether it's in Ukraine or the Middle East, uh, who knows about Taiwan and elsewhere. The reason I raise those challenges is because they will very much impact how the world adopts and uses technology at a global level. What the standards are, who has it, who can move markets with the biggest, most sophisticated platforms, whether it's AI, social, whatever the next thing is. So a multipolar world is going to very much change how we use technology and how we all agree on what some of the basic underlying rules and regulations about it are. We can create AI, but are we creating AI for good? You know, we can protect ourselves from cybersecurity incidents, malware, et cetera. But if we let the world have unfettered AI with essentially no conscious or no controls, then we're setting ourselves up for challenge. So the change to a multipolar world is going to change how we do technology. And it's really important, especially in events like this one, that we as a collective global community come together and set the baseline rules on technology. So it's tech for good, tech for our benefit, tech to help, you know, to help humankind solve some of our biggest and toughest challenges, whatever they may be. So we don't know what the future holds, but if we do what we're doing here right, then it can be tech for good and tech for all.